Ghost of Tsushima is the latest outing from studio Sucker Punch, best known in modern times for the infamous series. Set in the world of feudal Japan, Ghost of Tsushima sets you off on your journey as Jin, a samurai lord to free your home and people from the Mongol invaders. The story itself isn't anything particularly impressive. It is good enough to keep you going through it without getting bored, but I never sat on the edge of my seat or was ravaged by emotion. One thing it does do well is tying the story to the gameplay. How Jin feels about stealth and other approaches to combat reflects on the gear and equipment you would have acquired at that time. And while it's a very simple thing, it went a long way to making you believing his motivation and upgrade limitations you had in the gameplay. Although there may be a weaker story than some may hope, the strength comes from the characters, each with their own relationship with you and completely different motivations for being there. You build this almost tit-for-tat bond with all of your companion characters. Voice acting is great all round, with the exception of one or two people who you meet along the way who sound very much like a last-minute phone-in. The biggest letdown for the characters, however, are the animations. They're okay, but in a world spoiled with graphical powerhouses, some out-of-sync dialogue and bizarre movements will not go unnoticed. While we're here, I'll talk you through the bigger issues I had with the game. Similar to the bizarre animations, the camera was a rogue with a mind of its own. I often found myself trying to fight groups of enemies while looking at a tree. It was a nice tree, but I felt I'd rather be able to see what I was doing. I came across a fair few glitches, bodies being launched into the air, NPCs sprinting on the spot into a wall. Nothing game-breaking or anything that ruined the experience, but definitely noticeable. The pacing in the first couple of hours is rough. It takes forever to get to the point where you can just roam, forcing these slow, predictable story beats that somehow manage to repeat themselves after about 20 minutes. When the game does eventually open up and let you go wild, pacing is no longer an issue and actually flows fantastically. Just gotta get through those slow couple hours. The biggest issue I had with this game were the constant interruptions. F me in the A, it was abhorrent. Tutorial clips would pop up mid-combat, freezing the gameplay and taking over the entire screen, forcing you to not only acknowledge it, but do what it is telling you to do, completely ruining your flow. Oftentimes making you do something you didn't even need to do anymore because you did it another way. I am pleased to say it does eventually stop happening, however this isn't until 15-20 hours into the game. Now that I've got that nonsense out of the way, I can tell you that I love this game. The combat system is one of the best I've played, maybe ever. It's simple, yet challenging, fun to look at with new movesets and animations cropping up as you progress through the game, and incredibly satisfying when you take out an entire group without ever being hit. Contrary to the slightly dodgy facial animations and character models, the environments are stunning. The colours in the sunlight, the orange glow of sunset and the windswept look in a storm are all incredible to look at and I often found myself just taking in the view. The sound design during a thunderstorm blew my mind as well. Booming thunder, flashing lightning and whirling winds left me in awe. As much as I thought it would be a gimmick, I have come to love the wind waypoint system. It works flawlessly. Level design is top-notch, using the stunning scenery as important parts of mission design, only midway through realising that that is what they were doing. And most importantly, you can pet a fox. I personally don't think I need to say much more. I realise a lot of this review was spent talking about the problems, but trust me when I say this game is incredible. The combat, scenery, characters, petting a fox are all things in this game that need to be experienced and earn Ghost of Tsushima a place among all of PlayStation's best.